Hello and welcome to the offices of the Barnsley Chronicle where I'm with sports editor Doug O'Kane and we're going to preview Barnsley's match this weekend at Cheltenham. Uh, so Doug, uh, everything's looking rosy down at Oakwood at the minute, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Four wins out of five and that draw at Portsmouth, obviously uh, keeping themselves in the, in the top six. I think it's starting to you know, build in terms of momentum for this motion push and I think it's really hitting hitting people that you know how well Barnsley are doing this season you can tell with the, around the fans I think the last few games that you know they're, they're really getting excited about this season now a lot of hard work's gone into it and hopefully they can reap the war, rewards in the next few months yeah uh, a big game for, for Michael Duff going back to Cheltenham this weekend as well I know he's spoken about it um, but it does seem like in a business like mood as well yeah, I think so. I think uh, you know he's he's said that it'll be a bit emotional going going back. He's never been back to a former club before. Obviously, he's only got two. Um, obviously, his his family are there. He he goes back there twice a week. I believe his son's in the Cheltenham Academy. Obviously, there's Martin Devaney, who's in a similar situation. Um, you know, twenty years ago they were Cheltenham players, and now they're coming back. Obviously, they had great success there, and now they're coming back as opposition coaches so uh, yeah it will be a bit of a nostalgic trip for them and obviously he knows a lot of the, the staff and, and players after leaving last season um, but he's, like you said he's, he said that once the whistle goes a bit of a cliche but true um, you know, he'll be completely focused on, on winning and you can imagine that he's a very, very driven professional person so um, yeah, he's, he said that you know, he'll thank the Cheltenham fans but he's hoping to be celebrating with the Barnsley fans at the end A chance for three wins on the bounce Barnsley seems to be Get momentum at the right part of the season, don't they? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, and obviously, if you look at the fixtures, I mean, the Barnsley will probably say never look beyond the, the next game, but if you do look at it, they've obviously got Cheltenham, who won't be easy, and there's the Duff stuff, but um, you know, uh, a bit lower in the table, and they've got a series of quite brutal games against it, and big mouthwatering games, really, against a lot of teams also in the top six, starting with Derby the week after. So that will kind of be a bit of a proof of, of where they are, you know, can they stay in the top six and establish themselves even more or, or start to move move up and maybe even just about cling on to their hopes of the top two. So it'll be a really big sort of month to six weeks. But yeah, I think uh, momentum's definitely building and they, they seem to be clicking at, at a good time. And uh, just trying to do, what's the team news for this weekend? Um, so Luke Thomas, who's been out for four and a half months with a broken leg, he could be back on the bench. I think he's definitely going to go with, with the team. They're going to take a 20-man squad and he could be the 19th or 20th man or he could be on the bench. I think it'll just see how he, tra he does in training and how they're feeling about him. So he's, he's back basically ready for uh, selection, obviously quite a long way off full match fitness. But that's, that's a real big boost for Barnsley because he was really good in the first few Months of the season, and he's uh, you know, just adds something a bit different with his pace and his yeah. pressing ability. Um, Robbie Cundy's still out, so is Josh Benson. Obviously, Brad Collins got um, you know has missed the the games this week. Uh, so Harry Eisted will continue in goal. Max Watt is still suspended after getting red carded on on Saturday against Cambridge. But uh, other than that, as far as I'm aware, there's no new absentees.